Good day, Eastern Standard Time. If you're watching this, you're checking in. I would like to showcase an aquarium I made for a very special someone. I'll start off with this. I don't know if it costs that much. I got it at Walmart along with clay. And as you can see, a slow progression of some of the scenery that's in there. I've uh, managed to put this stuff together with my own means using a toothpick and a piece of a bamboo skewer. This is mostly a uh, finished-ish product before being baked. I uh, hollowed it out and bought the bases out, not to save clay or anything, but to make baking more even throughout so it doesn't crack. Not that I've had that problem with oven baked clay, but you never know. And I'll be doing the uh, larger scenes separate from the smaller scenes, like that strange fish that's trying to kiss you. There's a bunch of little creatures that'll be separate from the larger portions. And magically they're baked. Uh, this clam here, I wasn't too sure about it from the beginning. It's my first one. But uh, now we've gone on to painting the base and doing some other little painting of the corals and little plant things that litter. There's my paints, cheap Walmart paints. There's a pool of paint, delicious Mountain Dew, and a cleaning brush. Uh, you can see progression. More of the corals are uh, painted. Basically, I start off with a color, then I add a color, I paint something, then I add another color, then I paint something else, and I keep going until I get to a weird, soupy, poop, brown, or brackish color, and I start over again. This is kind of my progress, or process, as it were. And things coming together. <clears throat> Most of the corals are painted. Uh, the octopus I'm doing last because it's a bit harder. A little more time consuming. And I think it's looking pretty decent. The clam I was never really sure about from the beginning. Being my first one I wasn't sure how happy I was with it. So why the color keeps changing on it is because I'm unsure about it. Naked octopus. All the little fishes and whatnot, I paint them <clears throat> individually. And those will be glued on, you know, once they're dry. Being so thin and whatnot, they won't bake right with the larger portions. Painted octopus on his little treasure chest full of gems and gold coins. He seems pretty pleased there. Whoa, he's angry. Don't mess with an octopus's treasure. I think everyone knows that. It's actually my second octopus I've done, but probably my best out of the two. <clears throat> uh, picture of everything before it's all glued on and whatnot. Painted up, ready to go. This is everything glued on. I think that eel has a nice little home there, so I put him in that cave. All the little fishes and whatnot. Or glued where I want them. If you look there, there's actually a fish on the back. And I do that for a kind of wow factor. Every time you look into one of my aquariums, which are few and far between, I want you to see something that you didn't see before. I just, I like doing that. One of my specialty tools there, the toothpick.
Uh, still wasn't sure about it. I don't feel like the shark or the clam were right up to my standards, if that makes sense. So I was pretty sure I wasn't going to use it. There's Monsieur Octopus again. He's angry. <clears throat> He's surrounded with gold and pretty corals and gems. And there's actually a fish on the back of that too. And an eel sticking out. You might only see half the eel, but if you happen to look behind the aquarium, you will see the whole thing. He's a pirate. Uh, water effects and fine white sand I mixed together for the base on the inside. This is me figuring out where I want everything. Uh, this I just decided not to use, and I'm happy with that. This wasn't to my standards. This light I got at Pet Smart. Uh, it's going to be kind of a night light. It cycles through colors, and also you can be on one specific color by hitting the uh, other switch right there. I mean, some of the acrylic paint really pops under kind of like uv light or red light. Looks really neat. And it works. Thumbs up. Time to poop. That's the sand poured in. It's a kind of an acrylic mix. Once everything is in there and it dries, all this will be a part of the aquarium. It will not come out. I can shake it, do anything but drop it, and it will not go anywhere. It's really good stuff. Water effects if you're doing dioramas or something like this. And the finished product. It looks pretty swell. All your little critters in there. Uh, it's a good seascape. I don't even know what you would call it. It's, just, it's a faux aquarium. You know, uh, you don't put water in this because the clay will absorb the moisture and eventually crack. And of course you don't want that. So this is the, you know, the easiest aquarium you could ever have. No maintenance required whatsoever except maybe some dusting and maybe cleaning the plastic off of fingerprints or whatnot depending on what kind of critters you got running around but uh there you go hope you enjoyed it